Have you ever wondered what it would be like if people left no memories? Where the moment they died, there was nothing to prove that they'd been here, that everything they'd done had been forgotten. Because for me, this is the main reason for recording a person's life story. Over the years, I've helped so many people write about their lives, and it means that they're always remembered. There is always some part of them left, so that if a great-grandchild asks a question, there's an answer. If their child asks a question, if their neighbour down the road asks, there's always an answer. There is always proof they've been here, and they leave a legacy. And I'm not talking about a legacy where they changed lives. I'm talking about a legacy where they made people smile, where it shows their favourite hobby, where it shows how they looked at the world and what they were appreciated for and what they appreciated. Because when you write about your life, that's the record that you're leaving. It's not just who was married to who and who gave birth to who and where they lived. It shares part of them. And to me, that's the wonder of writing about your own life story or getting a parent to write about theirs. So this is why I put together my collection of writing prompts because they're designed specifically to make recording your story easier. It's not like you have to write a whole 40,000, 80,000 word book just like you see on the bookshelves of famous people's autobiographies. A collection of anecdotes, a collection of short stories, just answering questions paints a great picture in itself. What you choose to do with those stories is entirely up to you. But one story at a time is a great way to record your life and to put it on paper for friends, family and the next generation.